I was sharing uh, songs that I had written for my students, and, and I did have another one, actually, that I wrote a few years ago um, called The Shoes. And I'm not going to perform it today, um, but it, it is a very odd little piece. Um, it, it's about a woman who decides to commit suicide, and the most important thing is which shoes she'll wear, uh, because it's the first thing he'll see when he comes in. Uh, anyway, kind of an odd little piece. Um, but, but the concept of people taking their own lives has always uh, troubled me. One of, one of my true heroes, um, uh, folk singer and political songwriter, in fact, the things that I'm going to get into right now were, were pretty much inspired by Phil Oakes. Um, but he is someone who took his life um, at a tragically young age, at about 40, um, much too soon. Uh, this was a little piece I wrote uh, for no reason in the world except for the pun of the title. Um, I do love puns, and in fact, um, in one of my cases is uh, a poster that um, one place I used to play at, at the barn out in Riverside um, used to call me the, um, I forget, it was the master or the, the king of puns. That was because I, a lot of the jokes I did, a lot of songs I did had puns, and so that was, that was their concept. But uh, this one is called Sewer on My Mother's Side and Vice Versa. So vice versa means the reverse, and so if you play with that, it, it says sewer on my mother's side or mother on my sewer side. It's a joke. Uh, he perched on the edge, chairwise and terrified, eyeing the ledge as it crawled ever closer. Ledges can't crawl, he shrieked. Tell it to your mother, kid, the ledge replied. She looked up from the lap of luxury, but failed to recognize her own name. So, those are the poems I wasn't going to read to you today. Uh, <clears throat> and now we'll move back to our previously prepared program. Um, after the I Don't Write Much Anymore um, was a, a, a piece, as I said, writing about writing is a, a kind of a common thing for a creative writing teacher especially. Um, <laughs> But I've all, I, I think I shared with you, I really like Robert Frost. I really like his work. I like the, the extensive um, choices that he made from little tiny, little witty um, aphorisms to lengthy, almost play-length uh, dialogues. Um, but he wrote one that, that I think we went over, um, the poem Fire and Ice. And Frost's poem says, some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. As I say, I love that poem. I love the rhyme scheme, the complex rhyme scheme, the interesting double and triple entendre, the puns of those words of fire and ice and the multiple images that that could contain. So I wrote this piece uh, called Frost Fire, <coughs> using basically his pattern to create a little different piece. Frost favored fire instead of ice, an amusing choice. Shall we be cryogenic mice or men who wield the great device? Why, there's no need to raise your voices. Metaphysics, speculation, our leaders speak and we rejoice. You're a nation in a Rolls Royce. You get the pun there? Yeah, I always like those kinds. You're a nation in a Rolls Royce. Such a nice image.